Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Zeus diagnostic tool and covers the intelligent diagnostics feature. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This training video assumes you already have knowledge of the basic scanner operations. To review scanner operations, see the Scanner Codes training video in this series. To use intelligent diagnostics, the diagnostic tool must be connected to a Wi-Fi network with internet access. Intelligent diagnostics is an optional feature. If needed, ask your sales representative about how to access intelligent diagnostics. Intelligent Diagnostics is an optional companion feature of the scanner function. From one menu, it can provide the following code-specific information. OEM technical service bulletins, safety recalls and campaigns, top repairs graph, a graph of the specific parts and procedures most frequently used to fix the selected code or symptom, smart data, a custom PID list highlighting specific PIDs that are operating outside known good values. Functional tests and reset procedures. Guided component tests. SureTrack real fixes and tips. Again, all of this code specific. As we have already learned in previous training modules, the scanner function is used to communicate with a vehicle's control modules to find codes and display data. Since intelligent diagnostics is part of the scanner function, it relies on the vehicle ID to find vehicle-specific data. So we first need to connect to and identify a vehicle. Once we have confirmed our vehicle, we'll continue through the menu and make the applicable selections to scan for all powertrain codes. Here's our list of active codes. So let's use Intelligent Diagnostics to diagnose P0420. Selecting Diagnose opens the Intelligent Diagnostics main menu. The menu is made up of selectable cards for each module. Scroll down to see all the cards. At the top is an indicator that shows if your Wi-Fi is connected or disconnected. It is also used to indicate intelligent diagnostic service expiration in the event your software version is not upgraded to the latest available version, it will display the word expired. The code results drop-down menu allows you to quickly change the active code within intelligent diagnostics and see the related information. So even though we chose P0420 initially, we can easily change our code from this drop-down. Now let's explore the code-related information one card at a time. Technical bulletins are one of the first things to check for when performing any diagnosis. The Technical Bulletins card makes it easy by giving you quick access to the available OEM recall, TSB, and campaign information for the selected code. If the icon on the card is red, the number displayed indicates the total number of recalls, TSBs, and OEM campaigns that have been found. If the icon is green with a check mark, it indicates no results were found. To see the list of available TSBs, recalls, and campaigns related to the code, just tap the card. To view a specific bulletin, just select it. To print the bulletin, tap the print icon. The top repairs graph is not selectable, but shows you the most common verified fixes and or probable causes for the code based on information obtained from actual repair orders. In our example, the most common fix for the code was replacing the catalytic converter. This fix was verified 1,225 times and occurred the most 
240 times in vehicles at about 150,000 miles. This gives you some real-world insight into what others have done to correct a similar code-related issue. Now let's select the Smart Data card. Smart Data is just that. It gives you a custom list of bids that are related to the selected code. It basically filters out all the non-relevant bids and shows you only what you need. In addition, specific bids are pre-armed using known good upper and lower trigger values. This saves you time and allows you to see issues immediately. Let's take a look at these PIDs. In Smart Data, PIDs that display a flag have been preset and pre-armed. A blue outlined flag indicates the PID is armed and operating within its limits. In other words, the trigger has not been activated. If the flag is red, this indicates the PID is operating but out of range and the trigger has been activated. After a PID trigger has been activated, a short data movie is automatically saved. The movie can be viewed from the Scanner Data folder in Data Manager. If we switch to Graph View and take a look at one of the triggered PIDs, we can see that after a PID trigger has been activated, a red cursor is placed on the graph indicating the trigger point. This helps when replaying the data to determine where in the data the PID went out of range. Here is a full screen graph of one of the triggered PIDs. We can clearly see the red trigger point cursor. As noted on screen, it is important to remember that when using smart data, the engine should be at idle speed and up to normal operating temperature. Accessory engine loads should also be turned off as well. Selecting the Functional Tests and Reset Procedures card opens a menu of bi-directional component tests related to troubleshooting the selected code. Additional functional tests and reset options may be displayed at the bottom of the screen, depending on the vehicle. Functional Tests and Reset Procedures allow you to confirm the operation of components and validate repairs by allowing you to manually control certain component operations, like turning a fuel pump on and off, or an O2 heater on and off, or even resetting fuel trim values. Selecting the Guided Component Tests card opens a menu of component tests related to troubleshooting the selected code. Guided component tests are tests with step-by-step -step instructions to guide you through the process of performing component tests. They may include specifications, tips, and directions on how and where to connect the test meter leads. Some tests may also automatically configure the multimeter or lab scope to perform the selected test. Here is a typical functional test screen for checking both the pre and post O2 sensors for converter efficiency. Connection instructions are provided with a connector pinout information and a link to open the test meter. Toward the bottom of the main menu, the most common real fix for the selected code is displayed. This is typically displayed in a complaint, cause, and correction format and the fixed it number on the right indicates the total number of verified fixes using this information. Just below that are the real fixes and tips cards. Select the real fixes card to view a list of code specific procedures and tests that have been gathered from actual shop repair orders. Select a related real fix from the list to view detailed information about the fix. Select the Tips card to view a list of code-specific tips gathered from industry professionals. Select a related tip from the list to view the information. The Repair Information card provides a shortcut to the same function as the Repair Information icon on the home screen. 
This gives you the ability to access your shop's ShopKey Pro or Pro Demand repair information system directly from your diagnostic tool. To use this feature, you must have an active SureTrack account, access to an active ShopKey Pro or Pro Demand account, and an internet connection. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.